Good morning, everybody. This is Vicki with Chuck playing in the background. This is Morning Sessions. We are so excited to have this new part of our ministry going out there with y'all. It's just going to be very brief, five to ten minutes tops. Just we want to encourage you. We want to share some of the things the Lord's doing or saying. And and today what I hear him saying is to praise him that this is a Oh, good. I got to make sure the music's going. This is the third time I've tried this. The last two times, the music didn't work. I don't know why. <laughs> but anyway, back to topic here. He's been talking to me about sharing with you today about praise. And the, and the idea here is to get us to where we're just feeling all, you know, encouraged and Father. And, and we're praising Him. And we stay in that place where we're strong in the battle we're in. Because we're in a battle. We all know that. So today, whatever you're going to be facing, we're just going to start off with these verses this morning. And I am in uh, the book of Psalms. I'm in the 150th chapter. This is what he said to read to you. Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty heavens. Praise him for his mighty deeds. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with trumpet sound. Praise him with lute and harp. Praise him with tambourine and dance. Dance. Praise him with strings and pipe. Praise him with sounding cymbals. Praise him with loud clashing cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Okay, guys. All right. So let's think about this for a minute. I know a lot of us, uh, a lot of us are struggling with different issues in our lives. It may be family. It may be relationships. It may be uh, just our walk with God and how we feel like we're really on unstable ground and we don't really know how to get where he wants us to be or what we need to do or where we're failing or anything like that we're struggling we're struggling or it may be that our health we have issues with our health maybe gosh it may be jobs it, it could be it could be all kinds of things but but god is always good he is always good. He knows how to get us what we need. He knows how to speak to us in ways that we can understand. He has provision that we don't even know he has for us because we don't even always know we have needs because sometimes those needs haven't even shown up yet. But God knows what we're going to need every moment of every day. So instead of staying in the place of being discouraged or depressed because of the things that we're going through or because we're worried about something that's going to happen, how about if we choose instead just to praise God? How about if we choose to do what uh, King David was doing in those Psalms where he said, just everything, just praise him. Remember when David was, when, when he was bringing the um, Ark of the Covenant back to Jerusalem and he was so excited. He's going down the street and the Ark's, you know, taking the Ark back. He's going down the street. He's dancing. He's happy. He's a happy king. And remember scripture talked about how David was a man after God's own heart. Yes, David had sinned. David had done things he should never have done. There was a lot of stuff in David's life that was not good. But David loved God and he was doing what he understood to do to honor him and worship him because his heart was so full of love and praise for Father God. So when you look at yourself and you see places where you failed, well, repent, get up, keep going, do what God wants you to do, obey him, praise him. Don't let anything keep you in a place where you're sitting around being discouraged all the time. God is mighty. He's able to help you with the relationships. He's able to fix your health. He's able to give you the job he wants you to have. He's able to heal your families. He's able to speak to you in ways you understand so that you know what it is he wants you to do. He is able in every way. So one of the greatest things we can do when we're in those times of struggle is to just sit back and praise him. Just, you know, say things like, Father, I, you're so good. I know that you're good. Everything about you is good. You have always been almighty God. Nothing's going to ever change that. You are perfect in all of your ways. You are holy. You are faithful to complete the work you've started in each one of your children. You guys, the praise can go on and on and on. Don't ever feel like you're going to praise him too much because it's not even possible. And he inhabits 
the praises of his people. That just means to me he comes and sits right in the middle of hearing you praise him. You start praising God, and boy, the next thing you know, Father, you've got Father's ear. If you're trying to walk with him and you're trying to come to know him and you're having issues in your life, you just start praising him. God says in his word, in scripture, he says he inhabits, he lives in the praises of his people. Well, you can do one of two things. You can either praise God or you can sit around and let the enemy whisper all the negative stuff about how things aren't going right and what's failing and this isn't good and all that kind of stuff. Or you can just sit back and praise our Father God. So today I encourage you to do that and just know that it blesses Father's heart so much when we are struggling in an area and yet we still choose to praise Him. When we are hurting in our bodies or in our relationships or in any way, when we just step back and say, Father God, I, I praise you. I believe that honors Him in huge ways and that He just comes and sits right down and makes Himself comfy in the middle of those in the middle of those praises. I'm gonna say a quick prayer and then we're gonna say goodbye for today. God bless you, thank you so much for coming. Father, thank you for every word that you give us in scripture, for every word you speak to us in our lives, for every encouragement that you uh, touch people to, to speak into each one of us. Thank you for everything you're doing. You're almighty and holy God. You deserve the praises of your people. You deserve to be loved in every single way you want to be loved, Father God. And that means with our whole beings, you want us to obey you and just to be with you and let you be who you are in our lives in every way. You are God. Thank you, Father, for every one of these precious people that have come to spend this time with Chuck and me. And I ask you to bless them. We both ask you to bless them in your mighty name, the name that is above every other name. And you have so many, God. You are creator, almighty Father, God. You are wonderful counselor, prince of peace, everlasting Father. You are the beginning and end. You are the way maker. You are the all ruler. There is none like you, Father. And we pray these things in the name of the living word, who many people called Jesus the Christ. Amen. God bless you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for joining us. And please share. We just want to, you know, let's all just get together and have this awesome time as family every day if, if we want to. <laughs> we'll be here. We hope you'll join us. Bye for now.